Didn't expect to see you here, of all people. <laughs> Life is full of surprises. Reprehensible place. I hate it. It could drive one insane. What do you want? They asked me to speak to you. Wondering why they send you of all people. I am the bearer of bad news. Bad enough that it should come from someone you know. As it turns out, I'm the only familiar face for thousands of miles around. As it turns out, I really did die and go to hell. Listen to me. The procedure was a success. We removed the biochip. But the damage it wrought proved enormous. At the genetic level, altered DNA. The kind you would find in those suffering from radiation sickness. And sadly, it's lethal. So you're telling me I'm gonna die? All the options have yet to be exhausted. What other options are there? Already gone under the knife once. Arasaka Corporation has the capability to cheat death. All we require from you is a dose of trust. Trusted you once already. Fat lot of good that did me. You may join our pilot program. Secure your soul. I fear your body is no longer of any use. You must abandon it. We will create an engram of your mind and store it in Mikoshi. Store it? Why can't I just get a new body? We have yet to solve the compatibility issue. Doesn't sound like you had much of a problem with Saburo Arasaka. You have no offspring. Nor do you have an entire clinic focused solely on your care. So let's say I agree. I'll land in Arasaka's soul prison. Put myself at their mercy. Do I even need to ask about the catch? All is set forth in a contract, guaranteed therein. You must merely sign it. If you wish to live, that is. Now, since a digitized psyche is not legally an individual, the contract entails relinquishing your rights. A temporary measure, naturally. No, not about to become the property of our Osaka Corp. Current participants of the program are all well-known, influential people. We have yet to receive any complaints. And if I refuse? Your belongings are packed. A shuttle will take you back to Earth, and you will be dead before winter. It's no easy decision, I know. You should think it through carefully. There are no legal loopholes, no fine print. You have nothing to fear. I made my decision. I'm going back to Earth. I'm going home. You will die there. Goodbye, Anders. Your offer was shit. But in making it, you gave me something better. What are you talking about? Before, death was inevitable. A fact of my shit life. You let me choose it. Accept it on my terms.
How's the Earth looking from way up there? She is pretty, as they say. Or is that just another lie? Listen, don't forget, your implants were made for Earth gravity. Could start acting up in orbit. What I'm trying to say is, don't ignore any arrow warnings, okay? And when you're back, I mean, if you come back, I'll do a full checkup. Maybe even give you a little discount. Take care, V. Um... Hey, V. I was just wondering how you've been. Haven't heard from you in a while. Still living large in Night City? I don't know. All I think about is dropping everything and leaving. <laughs> Yet... Here I am, still. The city's like quicksand. The more you try to get out, the more it pulls you in. Once you're up to your knees, you're never getting out. Like... Like Evelyn. Anyway. Look out for yourself, okay? And call me sometime. Bye. Hey, V. It's Pan Am. Remember me? The one with the car? Listen, you wouldn't happen to have any gigs to spare, would you? I'm not picky or anything. I'll take whatever pays the rent. If you've got something, or you know someone who does, give me a call, okay? I really appreciate it. So, yeah, uh, that's it. Catch you sometime in the afterlife, maybe. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City. With a certain V in the lead role. Um, don't know what that was all about or what you got going on. But if you ever need a hand, or camp's your second home, I will never forget what you did for us. And for me. It's a debt I'm happy to owe you. Head up. Eyes forward, V. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well... Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. Gotta hand it to you, V. I'm impressed. When you told me you were gonna go after Hellman, I was sure you'd come back as a garbage bag full of smithereens. But you did it. I'm not usually wrong about people and what they're capable of. I'm curious to see what else you've got in ya. If you're looking for your next job, you know where to find me. Hello, V. From what I understand, you have less than six months to live. I do not know how you plan to spend this time. Perhaps you have chosen to put your feet up, rest, ponder life's meaning. Or perhaps you continue to do what you are good at. If that is the case, my father and I would gladly retain your services. You would be compensated generously. Six months will pass faster than you imagine. It would be a shame to let this time go to waste. Heavy. Orbital connections cost an arm and a leg, so I'll just get right to it. I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot and... Oh dear. The Fool, the Moon, the High Priestess. Those, uh... Those are bad cards. Keep a close eye on your new friends, V. I mean it. <laughs> 